from this small stone temple uh, emerges a tall, not necessarily health, healthy, healthily uh, thin furball, oh. who's pale and a, a kind of a grayish color and has a big shock of weirdly pink mohawk hair. Don't say. No. I'm going. I'm going way off the reservation here. <laughs> um, he's a little god. He's got, he's got a little little fuzz, and he's wearing kind of this bizarre. He's wearing this very uh, gentle silk shirt that's kind of got long, uh, long flowy, uh, one long flowy uh, 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 sleeve, and he's got uh, he's got a, a cup of tea, and he's just staring. <sighs> I think I've only got. Three more cups. Hold on. <laughs> Steps and go back, back in. <laughs> it's like episode. Do you know him? 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 Do I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna have a little kettle set up on a little tripod, and I'm putting it down. I'm putting a big uh, a rod with a big purple chunk of amethyst under uh, on it, underneath the kettle. I'm just tapping it a couple times to get the kettle to start heating up, and I'm just gonna wander into the graveyard and find some some flowers for tea. Can we tag along? Should do you need any help? Does he seem like he's going to kill us? Make an insight check. Thank you. <laughs> you need any help there, Miss, Miss, Mr. Nineteen. Mrs. Nineteen? Nineteen. <coughs> there doesn't seem to be any threat at the moment. Okay. Uh, Mr. Clay and, uh, uh, no, I'm fine. One second. Let's, Mr. Uh, Clay. Who's Mr. Clay? Uh, I come back with a pile of red-purple flowers and I'm grinding up. This is a... From Castala, uh, textile family, but uh, generations ago, but they make very good tea now. <sighs> Wait, back up a second. Are you Mr. Clay? Mm, Caduceus Clay. Sit. Caduceus. I'm going to put out the three cups and wait for the pot to boil. Hi. Oh, we have to wait? Pour okay. out the th three cups. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> You have to share. I apologize. I don't. I'm going to just drink booze, booze, so it's that, fine. Yeah. I come over and sit and take one of the teas. Uh, Caleb and I will share one, and I hand the other to Neela. I would love to try your tea. Please let me know what you think. It is delicious. Only grows here. I would like to hug you. Oh, please come. <laughs> Neela uh, gives him a big hug. <laughs> I haven't had one of these in a long time. That's nice. I am from the Guatau tribe. Do you do you know us? No. That I'm sure they're wonderful though. That sounds just great. That sounds wonderful. Friends. You have come. Please let me know what can I do for you? I, Usually when people come here, it is because of some great tragedy. How may I alleviate your pain? Oh, well, Herr Clay, we come to you with a great tragedy. A few great tragedies. <sighs> Do you want to, or should I? Well, the first one is, is I, I think it's time for Caleb to have another bath. It's been a little bit. That's the first one. So being without a shower has been a bit of a tragedy. Do we have time for a comedy bit like this? <laughs> you know, we, we recently lost one of our friends. I, I didn't assume. want to open the gate like that, that's why. <clears throat> and we, people who come here usually have. We, we aren't here to bury him, um, he's, he's already in the ground, um, but we, we've come to avenge him and we were, we were hoping to find some, some help uh, in these parts. Avenge him? What, what happened? Do you know the Iron Shepherds? Do I know the Iron Shepherds? You, you yeah. actually have not. You, you, you would have no idea. No, I'm sorry. I, I really don't get to leave very often, How especially long? these days. How long have you been alone out here? Uh, in 20 seasons now, 18 seasons? Uh, you try not to count it. Uh, just gets in the way of more important things. How many seasons has it been since someone has 
knocked on your door like we have? Oh, it's been about two seasons, I suppose. A little bit of business, but it's been very, very slow. Do you only gauge time and seasons? It's the only time that seems to matter. It's fair. I agree. Do, do, you, do you work here? Is this your place? Do you own this land? Is this. Oh, I'm are you so the excited. Funeral director? <laughs> Most people who come here know what this place is. This is, this is, a, this is going to be delightful. I've never a, had to explain it. It's a it to graveyard, it's a boneyard. Well, boneyard is a that's a it's a bit crass, but yeah, this is a this is a place where we take the dearly departed people who have done well and people who have lived good lives, and we put them into earth that has been touched by the wild mother, and in turn she grants them with beauty and splendor and sometimes tea. So, like a like a boneyard sort of a place, more like uh, a garden. We've been tending this garden for generations. You're drinking dead people tea? Aren't we all? That is a very Fair good point. Yeah, that's very true. But you're like cultivating dead people for good tea? Aren't we all? Yeah, okay, yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> so, we are very random visitors from out of the blue. We do come to you with tragedy. We do have a friend in the ground. We do have friends who are in dire need of assistance. You help people into the ground, but uh, offhand, do you help them out of the ground? Well, I mean, sometimes we can help people uh, who are on the edge of death. We certainly uh, understand that most people would rather spend their time alive than not, and that makes sense. I certainly have no interest in shortening my life anytime soon. But you can't bring someone back who's already expired. Uh, I mean, that's very tricky, and once you're dead, there's a, I mean, there's a natural order to things. There's a, there's a movement that things have to go, but in certain cases, I'm sure. Yeah, we have all read stories of the extraordinary, but you do not uh, have this in your wheelhouse, you are saying? Oh, I can, I can sometimes help people. You never know. Okay, well, beyond helping our recently past friend, how do you feel about helping people who are on the edge of life and death yeah, yeah. in captivity? Three in a cage is worth one in the dirt. There are full furbolgs in this group, too, that need help. They've been kidnapped, including a furbolg child. And they might not have long to live. But they're being held by the Iron Shepherds. Who are bad guys? That you don't know. We're good guys. They're, well, uh, we're sort of bad guys too. <laughs> we're working on it. We are not are bad we? guys. We're doing all right. Are you a bad guy? You know, honestly, I don't think I've really had enough experience to have an opinion on that. I'm a good gardener. What do you grow other than dead tea? <laughs> I grow lilies. I grow dead bramble. Dead bramble. Uh, mushrooms. Dead moss. mushrooms. Dead moss. If you are saying that you are able to help people back from the brink of extinction on occasion or under the right circumstances, I am going to hazard a guess that you could heal a wound in a snap, yeah? Uh, not with an actual snap, but yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I don't have to snap, though. I can do it real, I can be really quiet when I do it. Pretty quiet, I actually have to say something now that I think about it, but uh. <laughs> I'm going to take a, a guess. You don't leave here very much, do you? I left a few times, I suppose. It's uh, it's been a while. I wasn't uh, been on my own for a while. It makes you get a little uh, uh, rambly. So are you <clears throat> you're stationed here. Are you allowed to leave? <sighs> well, that's a bit of a story. My my family uh, have run this temple for generations and. Uh, sort of the last one left, holding the fort down, and no cousins or anything. No cousins, a couple, couple sisters, a brother, a parents, but everyone's either wandered off to help try and fix what's been going wrong, or uh, what's been, been going put wrong. The earth. What was that? What's up? What's what's going wrong? Oh, well, as I'm sure you've possibly noticed, and I apologize if I'm. Br breaking some terrible news to anyone who didn't. Uh, the forest beyond my little patch of earth is a, is a little unsavory. 
Uh, it's dark. It can be a bit dangerous. Don't recommend going out alone. Uh, and it has been overtaking our temple for the last hundred years, and recently has breached the walls again. So your family's trying to fix that? Yeah, my, the last one to leave was my, my, my uh, sister. She, she went Sorry, east. It's you. And now it's just me, and I, it's not much to hold, hold down at this point. Why do you stay? Well, honestly, because it's a little dangerous for a lone person to leave. I figured I'd sit here with a kettle and wait for someone to come along and maybe see if I can make my way out of here and figure out what's been happening to this place. Oh, well, we are double oh, lucky. This is great. So you can either, you don't have to like check in every night and be here to punch in and punch out. <laughs> like you could leave whenever you want. Uh, I mean, I could leave whenever I want, sure. Uh, uh, dealing with a time-sensitive situation, uh, you are looking for a, a segue out of this predicament you're in. Mm. I feel like it's only fair to warn you, if you were to come with us, that's not very safe. Are you inviting me to come with you? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, did we, 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 uh... We came seeking help in, in, in a, a mission that we're about to go on. That's that's excellent. You're lucky I came along. That this is this is oh, going to work out really well. Don't. It's well. You're lucky that I stayed right here so that you intercepted me. Because if I had wandered off 10, 15 feet, this may have never happened. Well, you know, he fate. Has <laughs> so fickle. We should be very honest with you. Um, we are intending to do good by people who deserve it. A young one, good people. But we are going to do very. Uh, Difficult business tonight or tomorrow. Well, I don't know if I think that anyone deserves anything, but I don't like cages. 